A huge variety of dog breeds require different treatment, some breeds do not need complex care, regular bathing, haircuts and combing, but they need many hours of walks to tame their destructive passion, other breeds, on the contrary, do not need long walks due to their moderate energy reserve, but it will take a lot of time to care for the coat so that the dog does not turn into one continuous ball of hair. In this issue, we look at dog breeds whose care will require additional time and effort from the owner. Samoyed Husky The Samoyed is a friendly, gentle dog with a good character. Samoyed Lycus make excellent family pets and companions, which is why all children dream of this breed. They are playful dogs full of spirit and enthusiasm. They get along well with almost everyone. Although Samoyeds will bark when necessary, they are too trusting and friendly to be effective guards. Samoyeds have a lot of fur, so caring for them is not so easy. It is not recommended to shave or cut Samoyeds. The natural length of the coat protects them from cold, heat and sunburn of the skin. This breed sheds heavily once or twice a year when it sheds its undercoat. Bathing Samoyeds is quite a difficult procedure due to their thick coat, so sometimes you can use dry shampoo. Samoyed Huskies need to get enough exercise. When these dogs are bored, they become loud and irritable. Samoyeds need daily walks. This breed is better suited to cooler climates. An apartment is also not the best option. A home with a small garden is ideal for this animal, where the Samoyed can splash out all its energy. It is also better to have a pet in a large family, as this dog can become depressed without frequent communication with a person. Chow Chow. For those who want to become Chow Chow owners, it is best to start raising and socializing this dog at an early age. This dog breed needs an owner with a strong character who can curb the dominant temperament of the Chow Chow. They say that Chow Chows are ready to die for their master, but are not always ready to obey him. Chow Chows are smart, proud dogs with a developed sense of self-esteem. They are quite independent and have a strong will. Chow Chows can be very domineering, serious, but at the same time stubborn. This breed strives to be treated with respect, so they have a tendency to be incontinent and have sudden mood swings. In other words, Chow Chow owners have to exercise a lot of patience. The Chow Chow needs regular coat care from its owner. Regular brushing is what your Chow Chow needs to keep his coat matte free and looking great. You need to make sure that the loose hair is combed out, otherwise this hair, dirt and moisture trapped in the dense wool will turn into tangles and can cause skin problems. Chow Chows shed heavily at least twice a year. Although they're thick, dense coat may seem very uncomfortable for summer. Cutting a Chow Chows haircut will not only destroy the dog's natural defenses, but can also cause skin burns. The Chow Chow can be kept in an apartment with sufficient living space and exercise, but the Chow Chow feels best in the yard of its own home, where it can guard its territory. Chow Chows should not be left in the sun during the height of summer. These dogs need plenty of shade and constant access to cold water. The Airedale Terrier is a very energetic, intelligent and easy to train dog. It is worth noting that this breed has a tendency to dominate the family, especially if the dog has not been properly trained and socialized since childhood. Overall, the Airedale Terrier is a good family dog, capable of interacting with children of all ages. However, these dogs, being terriers, are overly possessive of their toys and food. Despite the short, harsh coat and dense, thick undercoat, it will not be possible to avoid hair in the apartment, but you can significantly reduce the amount of hair from the Airedale Terrier in the house. To do this, you need to comb the coat regularly, if not daily, then at least four times a week. 
Airedale Terriers that do not participate in professional shows are often clipped by their owners to reduce the amount of hair in the house and maintain a neat appearance. A simple short haircut, known as a puppy cut, is a common choice for most owners. At the same time, the hair on the beard and eyebrows is left naturally long to preserve the distinctive features characteristic of the Airedale Terrier. Airedale Terriers need a lot of physical activity, for this they need free space. Like most Terriers, they are able to exercise on their own. They are happy to run and explore, they enjoy playing and love to be involved in all the activities of the family. Without enough mental and physical stimulation, Airedale Terriers can become destructive. This may include excessive barking, chewing and digging, and damaging things in the house and yard. Peking Knees For centuries, these dogs sat on the laps of kings and queens and became so accustomed to their position that even now they are not going to put up with a different status. Pekingese are a combination of great intelligence, dignity and pride, they are confident in their irresistibility, and in order for their appearance to match their inner feeling, the owner needs to spend a lot of time caring for their coat. Dogs of this breed are sensitive natures and, despite their careless arrogance, need a lot of attention. Pekingese do not like to be treated roughly or shouted at. In addition, they are prone to jealousy and if there are other animals in the house, they will compete for the owner's attention. Despite this, Pekingese are ideal pets for both experienced and inexperienced owners. They make excellent companions, and their low exercise requirements mean that they are also well suited for older people who cannot walk miles around the park with their pet. Pekingese are one of the most difficult dog breeds to care for. Daily brushing is required, the dog has a very thick undercoat that easily becomes matted if not properly groomed. A short haircut reduces tangles and the need for constant brushing, as well as the amount of hair in the house, since these dogs shed quite a lot. Poodle Poodles are very funny, intelligent, sensitive, and extremely trainable dogs. Many owners of this breed claim that these dogs understand human speech surprisingly well. They love to entertain their owner by performing various tricks and being the center of attention. Toy poodles usually get along well with other animals and children. They love to be the center of attention and seek this attention, although sometimes they pretend that this is not the case at all. Sometimes poodles can be very jealous and very sensitive to the fact that the owner communicates with another animal. Poodles do not tolerate loneliness well. Without enough attention and activity, they may develop destructive behavior. The most important thing for a poodle owner is to have the time and opportunity to care for such a dog. They require a lot of care. They need to be bathed once a week. They love to be clean and need help to look good. Also, miniature poodles need to be cut at least once every two months. If a toy poodle is not trimmed on time, its fur will become tangled and pull on the dog's skin, causing significant discomfort to the dog. Well, that's all for today, thank you all for watching. If it was interesting, support the video with likes, thank you for subscribing, and take a look at what else we have prepared for you.